The high-profile scandal surrounding former CBC radio host Gian Gomeshi has brought up a lot of conversations about BDSM. Today we're talking with participants of a panel called BDSM, Consent and the Law. Um, a few weeks ago, our country went into a kind of collective convulsion around the Gian Gomeshi revelations. Gomeshi's initial post on Facebook claimed that he was being framed um, and fired for what was consensual BDSM. Now, since that time, we've learned some other things. Um, there are some other revelations have come into play that have cast more than a little bit of doubt on the consensual piece of that story. But that initial claim, that uh, it was the initial claim that raised some broader questions around BDSM and the law, BDSM consent and the law. What's your take on the story so far? My take on the story so far is that we have to wait and see what's going to happen. It's being, you know, it's being investigated. There are at least three complainants that have come forward to the police. The police are actively investigating. It will take time for the police to decide whether or not to lay charges. Um, and, you know, if, if charges are laid, this really is, to me, this looks like a case that is more like the way that the quote BDSM defense has been raised in the past, which is neither BDSM nor defense. It really looks like cases where, not that the woman couldn't consent to this kind of activity, it looks like cases where she simply didn't consent to this activity. Has this sent a chill throughout the BDSM community? Like, are people afraid to act out on their fantasies now? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I think it's really clear to all of us. We're like, yeah, mm, he's not one of ours. Like, <laughs> you know, I think I think the general consensus is that the types of activities that were alleged to have happened uh, are so clearly not uh, anything resembling consensual BDSM that it's sort of a non-starter. Uh, I think it was uh, an attempt um, on Gomeshi's part to set set the tone of the discussion in a way that would make him look less like he'd done something wrong. I'm actually really curious to know if he believes himself. I don't know if he thinks that he's doing consensual BDSM and just profoundly doesn't understand what consent means, <laughs> right? Or if he knows he's not doing BDSM and was just hoping to get away with it. I'm, I, that might be one of those questions we never get an answer to. Does this controversy surrounding Gian Gomeshi and all the media attention around BDSM affect the gay community differently? I'm not sure. Uh, I think that what we've seen very happen very quickly is that um, BDSM practitioners have very quickly stepped away from Gian Gomeshi and said, you know, he's not really part of our community. That sounds more like assault and sexual assault than practices of BDSM. And so I think that's the sort of narrative that we're starting to see unfold and which has unfolded over the last couple of weeks. Great, thank you. Thanks.